was so special about Emmett? La, 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 la. I remember this skinny guy on his stage, <laughs> you know, virtually naked. You know? Like the event is something like this. Uh... On the red couch today, my very, very special guest, a very dear friend of many decades. Notice I didn't say of many years, they said of many decades is none other than Anthony Gabby Carter. So the first thing I want to do is, first of all, welcome you. Now, what is your correct title? You're Dr. The Most Honorable Anthony, Anthony Gabby, Gabby Carter. Carter. Correct? Correct. Right. Well, Gabby, first of all, welcome to the, to the Red Couch. I've been trying to get you here for a long time, so it's lovely to have you here. And now people all over the world can see you when we uh, present this program finally. Vic, thank you so much. It's like a real pleasure. I, I like the atmosphere, I like the ambience, I like the location, and uh, I'm just happy to see you, buddy, because I see you for a little while. A little while. You know? So, I know, like me, that part of your lineage is St. Lucian. Your Very father much so. was, was Lucian. My father was Lucian. I have a lot of cousins down there. Mm -hmm. The ones I'm closest to would be Calex, George, and his whole family, mm -hmm. and, um, and Charlie and Albert. Um, I remember one night in Yoruba House on Fontybell, <laughs> hearing you pull the, a note on, on Emerton. Not the bridge down. Bridge down, yes. yeah. And I could have drive up home to, to, to Atlantic Shores, <laughs> park the car, have them something to eat, get me an address, come back down, you were still holding that same note. Like the event, something like this. Uh... I grew up with the Chapman's Lane Choir, a man called Seymour Bishop and a man named Bailey. I never knew Bailey's real name, I guess his so last Bailey's name, gonna have... right? And Everybody knew him as Bailey, though. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bailey the choir master. And um, Seymour Bishop was also three of my siblings' uncle, but not my uncle. But he was a real disciplinarian and so on. So through him, I learned to listen to harmonies and stuff like that. I'm six years old, and he asked my mother to let me go to Kensington Oval with uh, the choir. And my mother said yes. And you know, Victor, I am singing the bass notes, but in a soprano voice. If you get, get what I'm saying. I got you. Yeah. I can't get down there, so I go. La, 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 la. <laughs> I sing it. In a soprano part. But I think we either won or become second. It was Eagle Hall, Chapman's Lane. It always fuzzy in my mind. I think Romeo Sears, that they probably won because he was Eagle Hall. Yeah, 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 but he was Eagle Hall. I, 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 I say, I think we won. But anyway, it didn't, it didn't matter. It was brilliant. Mm -hmm. That was my introduction to singing on stage in front of audiences. Tell me in your own words, what, what was so special about Emerson Well, you yeah, ever go really far back? Mm -hmm. First of all, I grew up in the Edmonton that we would walk a few yards and be on the only brown sand beach in Barbados. All the other beaches in Barbados are white sand or pink sand. This was a brown sand beach. This is where it lands in? This is down across Fonte Bell mm -hmm. and, in, in, and, and that's the beach right there. Moving from Emerton um, and, and moving to another part of uh, the country, people might say, you're far from the enemy. Was it, was it different so small? But I, I, it, was it was hard. It was hard. It was hard. hard I, I, when, I, when we first moved, because we, used, we had a slogan, uh, we used to say, don't make us move, help us to improve. I, I came up with that. Help us to improve. Yeah. That, that, that was a slogan I came up with. So, um, it was a Sunday evening and I was sitting and it was like just the sun was just about to go and I saw my guitar in the corner of the house there I was speaking with my cousin Hal Batson I said Hal 
pass again. Yeah. Alright, I said, I said like, don't talk. Just pass it. Don't talk. Well, so you look at me like funny. Why you tell me don't talk? And just to see funny me like that. I heard those words come up. You tell me to forget. And in 10 minutes, I wrote the song right there in front of me. You tell me to forget. You bring bulldozers and push down the houses. Oh. So when they were moved out, they didn't go in one area. Some in the deacons, some in the parking, some in the building, some in Clackham, and so on. So they were separated, right? And they couldn't communicate with each other again, right? So they had to like take bus or some kind of Whereas it was a natural thing on a daily basis to communicate. And all of that was, I don't know, built up in me. And I just wrote, wrote, wrote the song, just like that. What was your first big hit? What was your first big hit in the episode arena? It was um, a song called Never Me Again. First of all, it was heart transplant, because it was never recorded. Because I won my first competition in 1968 with heart transplant. Right. right? And then, um, needles and pins. Oh yeah, I remember the skinny guy on the stage. <laughs> virtually naked. Yeah. Saying needles and pins. Yeah, and needles and pins. Yeah. Needles and pins. Yeah. 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 What, a, what an experience this has been. And, and, uh, I, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity and, and you have to promise me that we will come back and do part two because that, that, is as, that, that is as so as if it's been done already. I will come back to you yeah. and then we could talk about the tours, the African Absolutely. Uh, part of it and all of that. Absolutely. You know. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. the most honorable Anthony Gabby Carter. Uh, the Icon of icons in terms of Barbadian entertainment, our cultural ambassador, and truly one of the greatest Barbadians. And I'm honored to have known him for these many decades and to call him 